today you're going to need something to catch with. Um, we have our sock balls and we have bean bags. Stuffed animal works, just something soft. Um, so grab that and we're going to do our usual exercises and then we're going to practice some locomotor skills and if we have time at the end um, we might do a fun little body game. Okay? Alright, exercises first. Here we go. Head up and down. some shoulder strokes. We haven't done that in a while. Sure. So you shrug, I tap. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can also have your kiddo tap your shoulders if that's easier. All right, do our leg lunges. Left leg out. Here you go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. You're gonna touch your toes Let's go. or attempt to. <laughs> Are you getting closer? Yep. Nice. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm actually touching the ground now. Nice. Kind of exciting. Alright, that's not at least our favorite. Yes. Remember, look at your hands or look at the space right in front of your eyes. Don't look down at your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Nice. <laughs> Good job, guys. All right. Locomotors. Yes. Okay, here we go. So we are going to work on galloping, sliding, and hopping. Galloping is first. So I'm going to show you the difference between the two because the foot motion is technically the same. One foot comes in front. This is gallop. So we're going to keep our right foot in front. So slow down. Mr. Charlie's going to keep going. Slow down. I'm stepping with this and I'm bringing it in. So he's going to show you fast. And this is what it is slow. Just a step touch. Super simple. Okay. Slide is also step touch. And you're facing forward, moving sideways. So slide, gallop, and that's fast slide, okay? So slow slide, fast slide, here we go. So he's shuffling sideways, and then you do the same, you still face the same direction, that way your left foot gets the lead, going this way your right foot gets the lead. 
So those are the two. Hopping is one foot, and we'll get to that when we're ready. So if you are in a small space, so Mr. Charlie is going to get you guys started. If you have space, follow him. Here we go. Gallop around. Right leg in front. If I don't have a lot of space, I can do this standing in place or just work on step together. All right, now okay. we're going to switch feet. Put the left leg in front. Here we go. Step together. Come back. Step together. So you want them focusing on facing this direction and toes facing this direction. Good job. Sometimes what I see is, well, we'll do that with slide. So that was gallop. Awesome job, you guys. Go through it one more time? Yes. All right, right foot in front. There we go. So small space, step together, come back. Step together, or you can kind of do this in a circle. Just make sure your toes are facing the same Switch as feet. your nose. Now left foot to me in front. Here we go. Toes and nose going forward. Good job. All right, for slide, what I tend to see is our kiddos will face this way and then they point their toe going this way. So the idea is the whole body, toes, nose, everything faces this direction and keeps that maintained while going right and left, okay? All right, so small space. You're gonna be small space this time. Okay. So step, touch, step, touch. Um, so I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna go forward and back, okay? So I'm sliding to the left first, here we go. And then I'm still facing this direction and I'm going to the right. The toe tap, um, when you step together, I like it because it sounds fun and it feels fun, but it's not necessary. You just want your feet coming together, but they don't have to clap. Good. Okay, take a rest for a second. We'll do that one more time, then we'll get into our hops. I'm gonna face this direction this time. Starting with my right. Here we go. Toes and nose facing forward, body moving sideways. Good. Nice job, guys. All right. Hopping. Hopping's on one foot, so tons of options. You can hold on to your partner, and you can just work on stand and balance. That's awesome. You can work on holding on to someone or holding both of their hands so that I can hop. Because the hands give you more stability. Um, you can hold on to a wall or you can be freestanding. Okay, so the idea is working on getting that one foot off the ground. Now, if that's where you're at, where you do one hop and you reset and you come back, do that. So we're gonna stay on the right foot. If you're feeling super festive with your hops today, you can do multiple times without taking a break till we say stop. Or you can do it a couple times and then if you need to rest, put your foot down and come back. Okay, so pick, pick where you're at. So I'm gonna be by the wall in case I need it. We're gonna hop on our right foot first. So let's do five hops. Sounds good. Five hops, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. So if you notice, it's even different for me. My right one looks a little bit different. My left is a little bit more effortless. Here we go, five hops on the left. One, two, three, four, five. Now as an option, if you want another level, you can do your hops and you can do it moving forward or backwards or side to side, um, your choice. All right, one more time, five on the right, however you'd like it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I actually like having the wall for my right leg. 
Left leg, I don't need it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Good job, guys. All right. Now it's time for our equipment. So grab whatever soft items you have. We'll give you a quick second. All right. So we'll work on solo catch, partner catch. Okay, guys. I am going to be with the sock ball equipment. Mr. Charlie's got our Dodger Blue beanbag going. Um, so we're just going to work on um, working on catching it with yourself. A lot of times, like we work a lot on catching with our kiddos and we're usually having them toss to a partner. So if they see an adult and we tell them to do this, they tend to do that. <laughs> nice. So if it's just too much work to try to get them to switch gears to do this, it's still working on the skill, they can toss it to you. So you guys pick whatever is flowing best for you today. Um, I, we don't want this to be a struggle. So the important thing is, um, I'm gonna have Mr. Charlie toss to me so I can show you guys what I want with your hands. So a lot of our kiddos tend to do this. So now it's right in front of their face. It's super hard to see the item actually coming to them. So we try to get them to bend their arms and we try to get our other kiddos to be like, oh, their hands are out. That means they're ready to catch. Now I'll throw it to them. So this is kind of like the universal sign of I'm ready. Um, and I just realized I stepped with the same side foot. That's awesome. <laughs> Stepping is not as important, but if you do step, please step with the opposite foot. <laughs> um, so we're just working on getting those hands out. So if they're tossing with the partner like we are right now, awesome keep going with that if you're tossing to yourself um, we want you to work on those hands out okay so hands up to the sky elbows bent those that's the important part the lower you toss it the easier it is okay so if you want a challenge you can toss it a little bit higher but don't do too high especially if you're inside um, so we're just going to do this for a little bit And if you can, watch the item with your eyes all the way up and all the way into your hands. That helps you catch more consistently. When you toss it really close to your body, it um, eliminates the problem of potentially throwing it further away from your body. Um, right now we want you in this one little space, tossing and catching, or tossing and trying to catch. <laughs> three more. One, two, well, do guys three. Oh, nice. <laughs> Can't see with his glasses on, but he's doing eyes closed. That's pretty fancy. All right. Um, so if you guys were doing solo catches, now we're going to do partner. If you were doing partner, keep going. Um, adults, if you're tossing to the kiddos and they're pretty consistent at having their hands out and catching, then you can start putting an arc to it. It's still going to them, but it's, it's causing your kiddos to have to track a little bit more. Um, which is definitely really hard for um, and if they're getting really good at that, then you can do a little bit to the right and left, so they're having to reach from side to side. Um, guys, you're doing good. Keep going. It's really good uh, target practice for the adults. The closer we get it to their hands, the more successful they are with catching.
Two more, friends. One. I'm doing three more for each of you. Two. Three. Perfect. Nice job. Do a little time check here. We're at 16. Great job. So locomotor skills, we worked on galloping, which is facing forward, moving forward. We worked on sliding, which is facing forward, moving sideways. And we worked on hopping, which is on one foot. And then we did our awesome catching skills. Now it's time to dance. Good job, guys. Good job. See you next time. All right, friends, we're going to do listen and move. Make sure you guys listen, because they're going to tell you what to do on the first round. On the second round, you're going to have to listen to the music to know what to do. Here we go. Walk. Gallop. Skate. Now let's see if you can remember what the sounds tell you to do.